we are given f of x equals x squared minus 4x minus 5 and asked to determine f of the quantity x plus h and f of the quantity x plus h minus f of x. Let's begin by determining f of the quantity x plus h, which means the input into the function f is now the quantity x plus h, which means wherever we see an x in f of x, we replace it with the quantity x plus h. Here, here, and here f of the quantity x plus h is equal to the square of x plus h minus four times the quantity x plus h minus five. And now let's simplify. Let's first square the quantity x plus h. The square of the quantity x plus h gives us two factors of x plus h. And now multiplying the two binomials, we have four products, one, two, three, and four. x times x is equal to x squared, plus x times h gives us plus hx. And now distributing h, h times x gives us plus hx again. And h times h is equal to h squared, giving us plus h squared. And then for minus four times the quantity x plus h, we think of distributing negative four. Negative four times x is equal to negative four x, giving us minus four x. And negative four times h is negative four h, giving us minus four h. And don't forget, we still have a minus five. The last step is to combine like terms. And now we combine like terms. We only have two like terms. We can combine hx plus hx, which gives us two hx. So f of the quantity x plus h is equal to x squared plus 2hx plus h squared minus 4x minus 4h minus 5. And now we're asked to find f of the quantity x plus h minus f of x. So f of the quantity x plus h minus f of x is equal to, well we just found f of the quantity x plus h, which gives us x squared plus 2hx plus h squared minus 4x minus 4h minus 5, and then minus f of x. So now we subtract f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5, giving us minus the quantity x squared minus 4x minus 5. It is important that we have this function in parentheses so that we are subtracting the entire function. And now we want to clear the parentheses. We can think of subtracting each term, or if it's helpful, we can think of distributing a negative one. So f of the quantity x plus h minus f of x is equal to x squared plus 2hx plus h squared minus 4x minus 4h minus 5 and then minus x squared or negative one times x squared gives us minus x squared. And then minus negative four x or negative one times negative four x gives us positive four x or plus four x. And then finally minus negative five or negative one times negative five gives us positive five or plus five. And again, the last step here is to combine like terms. We have two x squared terms, two x terms, as well as two constants. x squared minus x squared is zero. Negative four x plus four x is also zero. And negative five plus five is also zero. We're left with two hx plus h squared minus four h, which I'll write as h squared plus two hx minus four h. And again, this is f of the quantity x plus h minus f of x. I hope you found this helpful.